Data governance. It's about building a culture. This is Pete. He's head of risk at a financial services company. One day, Pete's boss comes into his office to tell him that her friend just became a customer but hasn't received an offer for onboarding. She thought this was strange because we always offer our customers onboarding services and told Pete to figure out what went wrong. Pete talked to sales, but they were only responsible for registering new clients' contact information. And logistics were only responsible for product delivery. Eventually, Pete got to customer service and discovered that they were ultimately responsible for onboarding. But they were confident that they had called every single customer with an onboarding offer. So how is this possible? Pete asked them to look up the client's file and found out that their phone number was recorded as eight ones. Customer service told Pete that this was an invalid phone number and that they only called customers with valid phone numbers. Pete asked sales why they would incorrectly register a phone number as eight ones. They explained to Pete that in order to close a sale, they must register a number. And when they can't find one, they fill it out randomly. This is a classic data governance challenge. No one is considering the consequences of poor data across the entire enterprise. And no one is responsible for registering the right phone number. As a result, we lack the organizational responsibility for ensuring the proper registration of new clients. Pete's boss wanted him to fix this immediately. But there is no quick fix. We must create a culture around proper governance of data that we perceive as business critical. For example, where sales understands the importance of registering the right phone number and how their approach to data impacts our entire business and ultimately our customers. Pete's boss feared that implementing data governance would be way too complicated, but Pete knew how to do it because he's done it before. In his experience, there are three common pitfalls we need to avoid. Firstly, having shared responsibility means having no responsibility. You are more inclined to deliver if you are solely responsible. Secondly, only assigning ownership at the operational level doesn't work. You need to assign it to top management as well, someone with the mandate to make cross-functional decisions. And lastly, data governance is not just about implementing IT solutions. You can't solve data governance issues by simply allocating resources to an IT project. It involves people, processes, and IT. It's about creating cross-functional value by standardizing processes for working with data. So if you want to feel the impact of data governance, then do like Pete and visit bestpracticedata.com.